London is one of the most iconic cities ever. I mean, everywhere you go, people are like, oh, I wanna go to London, I have to visit London. And uh, the thing is, London has so many different iconic spots, you kinda of just have to visit. This is day two itinerary of you exploring London like no one has ever explored London before. If you want a full itinerary to have the best day ever, click the first link in the description and I'll go ahead and send you this amazing itinerary. Let's get into it. And today, we're starting a day off with this amazing monument. And as you guys can see, it, it, it's, it's, it's towering over. It's kind of giving me that Eiffel Tower, like a baby Eiffel Tower type of feeling. And it just looks fantastic. I mean, the, 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 the architecture here is fantastic. My favorite part is not just the architecture at the bottom. It's the details that we have right at the top. I mean, right on top, you can kind of see a little golden stuff right there. And just looking at very detailed. And I'm really, really excited to start my amazing day two right here in front of this a beautiful monument and having a great time. Let's go check out what our stop number two is gonna be like. Let's do it. So our stop number two on this beautiful day two itinerary is actually the London Bridge. And uh, I have to say, I'm actually a little bit disappointed on uh, yeah the, the views that we're getting here and uh, the vibes that are on the London Bridge. I'm more of a fan of the Tower Bridge, which is literally right there. But the thing is that you are able to see a good-ish view of the Tower Bridge from the London Bridge. But I think they need to switch the names of uh, of, of these two bridges because I feel like whenever you think of London you're like oh the London Bridge right but this is the London Bridge and that is a Tower Bridge but I feel like this needs to be on your itinerary as uh, the London Bridge because you know it's, it's still quite iconic and it's uh, the bridge named after the city so how could it not right so long story short we're just walking around here having a fantastic time amazing London Bridge as our stop number two let's do it every single city that you go into you have to ensure that you're getting one of the best views of that from all time and as you guys can see this this is our next stop, stop number five. And we are at the infamous Sky Gardens, having one of the best times of my life. Wow, as you guys can see, your hair, from here, you're able to get a 360 view of the entire city of London. And wow, as you guys can see, you're seeing my live reaction, wow. Oh my goodness, it is raining a little bit, a little bit drizzle, I mean, what's a little drizzle? I mean, when you come to London, you kind of have to expect a little drizzle, right? And as you guys can see, right in front of me is my, my favorite building of all time right here in London, the Shard. Towards my left-hand side, you guys are able to see the Tower Bridge of London, just looking fantastic like always. River Thames just flowing like it has never flown before. We've got a little Uber boat in the middle as well, it's just kind of funny to actually have an Uber boat here. Uh, so, I mean, great times right here at Sky Gardens. The one one caveat about uh, this place is actually it's kind of hard to get in so if you're coming here in the afternoon it's probably going to be a little ha like hard and uh, yeah it's like a $20 per person uh, fee uh, but it does include champagne if you're you guys are into that but yeah uh, but we, the, the best time if you don't have a reservation uh, to come here is actually 9 in the morning and uh, yeah there's usually no line and uh, yeah one more thing is you're actually also able to uh, make a reservation at the restaurant which gets you an entrance into this little area. I mean, this is a public area. One of the most fantastic places right, uh, I've been here, right here in London. Let's, uh, let's show you guys around what this is all about. Uh, we just come over here. This is the outdoor terrace. Uh, we just keep coming, keep coming. We got the, 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 the beautiful view. And as you guys can see, the indoor gardens just look fantastic like always. And uh, yeah, we're able to see the entire view all the way. What a great day. And we're at a great stop right here. Amazing times. I mean, how can we advertise 360 views with Without even showing them so we came up the stairs and now we're on the other side of the sky garden and as you guys can see it's looking beautiful and lovely out here and we get a view of everything I mean sky gardens in London is probably one of the most beautiful places I have ever been to right here and I, I I really thought I was having a great time in London you know there were so many iconic places we visited but it's there's literally nothing like sky garden because you're actually able to get 360 views along with a garden literally on on the rooftop. I mean, in what world can you say that, that this is not an extremely iconic view? I mean, as you guys can see, I have amazing views of the entire city, and we are just having one of the best days we've ever had in our entire lives. Gardens, views, rooftop. I mean, what else could you ask for, right? <laughs> All right, so I guess, uh, you know, we have to conclude our, 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 our journey to Sky Gardens right here, right now. 
while looking over at the beautiful city of London. Let's go over to our next spot. Just like that, we had a fantastic time in Sky Garden, but now it's time to go check out our next destination. And just like that, guys, we have made it to our next stop, the Household Cavalry Museum. I mean, can you even go to London uh, and not check out these amazing people, you know, riding the hot horses, looking extremely, extremely amazing. And uh, yeah, I mean, the vibes here are extremely immaculate. And we can see the social proof here is, uh, you know, shining extremely bright as well. Lots of people over here taking pictures and videos, you know, having a fantastic time. What a great day it is. And I mean, London, <laughs> how can you come to London and not do this? That's exactly why this is our next stop. Let's go where our next stop is gonna be after this. Let's do it. All right, guys, uh, we actually got just into the museum. And as you guys can see that this this young man right here is looking fantastic the dude looks extremely hard and uh, yeah wow I mean what a beautiful walk it is just with the a little sword situation and wow I mean really good stuff going on around here I honestly would not mess with him he looks amazing <laughs> great job let's do it and just like that after hanging out with uh, a fantastic uh, you know guard we have finally made it on the inside of the the Calvary Museum and as you guys can see the architecture here looks fantastic I mean we are getting the 360 view of this little hard sand like uh, floor, which is, I don't know, it kind of gives it an amazing vibe to it. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, a fantastic place right here, and that's exactly why this was one of our stops right here. Let's go on to the next stop. Let's do it. And just like that, we have made it to our next stop, probably one of the most iconic places to visit in London, and that is the Buckingham Palace. I mean, did you even go to London if you did not visit the Buckingham Palace? One of the most iconic places to visit in London? Well, if you were to ask me that question, the answer would be absolutely not. I do not count that visit as a, as, as a trip to London if you're not visiting this amazing, iconic area. I mean, this is exactly the place where the Queen resides. I mean, where the, basically the entire heart of this beautiful city resides. And I feel like you kind of have to check this amazing place out. That is exactly why this is our next stop on this amazing day two itinerary. And we are having probably one of the best day twos of all time. I mean, London, right? What an iconic, beautiful place. As you guys can see, we have the beautiful parks on the left-hand side, and we keep going, and keep going. And then we have one of the most iconic statues right in front of the Buckingham Palace. It's just, it just looks iconic. I honestly have no idea what it means, but when you look at it, it makes you feel something. And I don't know what that feeling is. But it does make you feel something though. All right, all right, we keep going. We keep going to the actual Buckingham Palace and wow. It honestly is kind of giving me uh, the Palace of Versailles type of vibe from France, but it just looks a little bit more iconic, a little bit more better because it just kind of feels like, kind of feels like this entire country is ruled by people who live over there. I mean, <laughs> I feel, I feel like it, 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 it senses, it gives you tingles in your mind and tingles in your body just to actually feel what this country is actually all about. And I feel like that's why we have to visit and you have to visit every single time you're coming over here. What an amazing stop it is. I mean, wow, what a day, right? Let's go ahead and check out what the next stop is all about. Let's do it. And just like that, guys, we have made it to our next stop, the iconic Mall Harrods right here in London. So the thing is, London has a really good shopping. So if you're a shopping enthusiast, Enthusiast. This is gonna be the spot for you right here on the day two itinerary. If you're leaving tomorrow, you know, pack up your bags because right here in Harrods, you're gonna have everything to shop possible. That's exactly why we're here as our next stop, about to have one of the best shopping experience of all time. Let's go into Harrods. And maybe let's see what's after Harrods. Let's do it. And just like that, guys, we have made it to our last stop on this day two itinerary right here in London, UK. And you guys are not gonna guess what the stop is. This stop is one one of my favorite places in London and it's called Hyde Park and as you guys can see right behind me we have uh, we're actually hanging out with one of the ponds that is right here on this uh, uh, amazing amazing little area and as you guys can see we have uh, this amazing uh, goose right here it looks like I mean he thinks that I'm gonna feed him but unfortunately I'm not and uh, we have a beautiful white swan uh, right there as you guys can see he's just uh, hanging out having a, a beautiful time with his uh, you know significant other right beside him uh, so females in general it seems like they're uglier than the males uh, so, you know, oh wow, this guy has a lot of them. So interesting, interesting stuff going on right here. And as you guys can see, we have the, the beautiful bridge right here uh, that, you know, overlooks the beautiful water. And uh, uh, if you can see all the way in the back, you have uh, another little statue area. And when you see on the other side, we have another statue. The thing is that Hyde Park is such a huge park and you can literally get lost. So in this day two itinerary on this last little bit of whatever time you have left, you have to make sure that you know you just actually just put 
two, at least two to three hours just to get lost in Hyde Park because there's multiple different galleries that you're able to explore. There's various different like walkways that you're able to explore. There's like, like multiple different ponds as well. So lots to do around here. And I feel like you can just wind down into on this amazing day two right here in London, UK and have one of the best days you've ever had. Now, as you guys can see, this is our last stop as well. Oh my God, we have, you know, lots of, uh, lots of pigeons, you know, trying to get in the shot. It seems like they want some attention here as well. But long story short, uh, we're all just having a great time at this amazing last stop. Hyde Park was our last stop right here. And uh, thank you so much for you guys for, you know, joining us on this day two uh, itinerary. And next time when you're coming to London, UK, you have to make sure that you're using this amazing day two itinerary to have a better time than even I did. Because I feel like you guys are way more fun than I am. And uh, yeah, you guys are going to have a fantastic time. And thank you so much for watching. And I love you guys. Mwah.